Good morning. I pray that your Monday was filled with spaces and places of joy, of peace, of happiness, that you found a moment to just exhale. The title of this video is Hold Up. Wait a minute. Now take some time to relax. Hold up. Wait a minute. Now take some time to relax. You know, the way, how I do this. So, as I was taking my morning walk, and I'm back in my regular place, a little creaking back of me, I began to think about this topic, and I began to think about the Tina Turner documentary. And on that documentary, um, one of the things that I noticed, and let me just do a disclaimer, um, Y'all may want to take my black car because I've never seen what love got to do with it. And I've never seen it because I do not like to witness children, women, adults, anyone being abused. I don't allow that as much as possible into my spirit. So I never saw the movie. But back to the documentary. One of the things I realized as I watched the documentary that talked about her abuse and as she talked about it, I thought about how even with all the abuse she incurred, even with all the multiple and many shows she would do, per, without a whole lot of just back to back to back, even as she, you know, incorporated mothering and taking care of her children, with all of that, eventually Miss Tina found some time to hold up, wait a minute, and to dedicate some intentional time to relaxing, to, to getting in connection with her spirit, to being able to get quiet and just exhale. And many of you know that as she practiced her Buddhist faith, as she took time to chant, eventually she made a decision that the life she was leading, that the life, that abuse she was incurring, that that was no longer for her. And she made an important life decision. She walked away from it all with nothing but her name. But many of you know that her name was the most important thing. They couldn't take that from her. She realized, and I wanna believe, by taking time to replenish herself, to focus on herself, to, to, to deal with her feelings, she began to realize, you know, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve the abuse. I don't deserve the ripping and running. I don't deserve all the chaos. I, I deserve to be able to have the life that God has for me, that God has purposed for me in a way that is healthier. So my message to you all who I've been doing posts about being busy, and busy is not bad. You know, some folks are saying, well, what's wrong with being busy? Life can make us busy. Busy is not bad in itself, but when we are busy because we are running from our emotions, when we are running from the sadness, when we're running for the pain, because we, if we just stay busy, we just don't have to think. If I just stay busy, I don't have to recognize how alone I feel. If I just stay busy, I don't have to focus on what I consider emptiness in my life. If I just stay busy, I won't miss that person, that thing, that situation. If I just stay busy, I won't be so scared. If I just stay busy, I, I don't have to deal with my increased anxiety. If I just stay busy. My recommendation to you, my dear, my recommendation to you who have made busyness so much a part of your life, that you don't even realize how exhausting it is to just stay busy, is to hold up. Wait a minute. Give yourself time to breathe. Pencil yourself, not even pencil, put yourself into your schedule and, 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 and block out that time as cherished time. Don't let anything interrupt it. Don't reschedule it for anyone. Every day, give yourself what it's, I want to say at least 15 minutes to 30 minutes to an hour, but to block out time for you.
I remember when I was working and we were so busy trying to see all my clients because people had such a need that I found myself going for days with not even scheduling time for to eat lunch, barely having time to go to the restroom and wondering why I was exhausted, wondering why I was sad, wondering why I was angry. If we don't take care of this body and this emotional spirit that we have, eventually it will stop on us and it will stop in the form of exhaustion. So people are walking and enjoying this space. So I just want to say to you, good morning. Good morning. Hold up. Wait a minute and give yourself the gift of relaxation, the gift of self-care. And when I say relaxation, that doesn't just mean you don't have to chant. Your gift could be take an hour to take a walk, take an hour to roller skate if that's what you like, take an hour to work on a puzzle, take an hour to calm your cluttered mind, calm those racing thoughts, calming all those anxiety and fears that you have for the future. Give yourself a break. And then come back and let me know how that's working for you. Love you all and look forward to speaking to you again. Hold up. Wait a minute. Take some time to exhale. And replenish so that you can run on to see what the end will be. So that you can be refreshed and open to all that life has for you. Love you. Bye-bye.